is officially awkward for me. Um, I don't know. I think the reason is because I used to be doing this on an actual radio station. Now I am in my dreary basement by myself in the dark recording on an audio recorder. Uh, yeah. And um, it's it's really scary. Um, I I miss when I used to have company talking because, you know, I would just kind of it was fun to work off people, but at this point, it's just from the bottom, baby. Just working from the bottom. Working from the bottom. Anyway, there's, this is a, a beautiful brouhaha, show number one. And, um, yeah, I'm just putting out a little something here and there. I uh, need to get my creative juices flowing, I guess. Ha, 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 ha. That was that was meant to be a joke. Um but yeah, anyway, man, uh, this is this is a late night show sort of format with fun late night skits and guests and cool things of that nature. Uh, you will notice that there is no visual element to this show, um, and that is because the budget was spent on the audio component, as well as some very very nice um, uh, sound effects that we have here, such as. Uh, light rainfall. I know, I know. It It feels like we are in the rainforest right now. Jaguars everywhere. Red ants um, digging into your body. Um, all the shenanigans to make up. Yep, and the thunder as well. Forest fires. So the whole thing is just absolutely um, point one. I don't know what that meant. Absolutely point one, meaning very well, uh, oh god, anyway, good, good, good sound effects was the point, oh goodness gracious, um, but you know, people are, um, you know, going to great lengths to give their opinion these days in, in this, um, media-centric sort of society, uh, you got people writing blogs, uh, you know, about the Middle East, about, uh, their boyfriends and girlfriends, people making out online, um, and that's weird for me because I don't want to see 14-year-olds be doing that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I should get off Tumblr. Um, you know, you got vlogs. Um, you know, you got uh, people reblogging GIFs back to that whole Tumblr scene. Um, but I feel like podcasts, you know, they require the least amount of effort. Um, and, and the reason for that is because you don't really have to write down anything. Uh, you don't need to appear presentable. Uh, you know, you could, you could be kind of sitting as disheveled as you want. I was called disheveled once. Um, interesting story behind that, which we can get to at some point. Um, but, but the great thing about audio podcasts, uh, is the, is the fact that it requires the least amount of preparation. Um, but, but therefore it can probably be the worst out of all, all, three, four, you know, so, um, you know, just bear with me here, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens, um, you know, I feel like this is also a cool place to just kind of get weird things that happen to me just out in the open, and, you know, because I don't feel like I have too many people to talk to, all my friends are either working jobs or, you know, drinking themselves to death at home, so, um, I guess the, one of the, one of the big things that, that's been bothering me has been kind of my dreams, and, um, you know, there's this really, there's this one which is kind of personal to me, uh, but I kind of want to tell you guys about, um, you know, I remember uh, I was walking into this this room, this really open room, um, you know, very, very dark, but it's illuminated by these torches. Uh, it's a very wide room as well, and there's a figure um, towards the end of the room, and um, I remember thinking, who the hell is that? Uh, so I approach closer and closer and closer, and I realize that this figure is in a dress. Um, maybe a sari. I'm not sure. Uh, for those who don't know, what the sari is it's a it's an Indian Indian form of dress. Uh, Google it. Um, you'll find it probably under Google Images. And um, you know she's in this dress, and she she goes and looks she looks at me, and uh, she's the most beautiful creature I've ever seen in my life. And she's like, who are you? And so, um, you know, without even thinking, I say, you know who I am. And 
You know what's weird about my dreams is that I can I they get set up so they're so awesome like it's a cool story you know I I want to know what happens after I mean that's a cool I feel like that's a cool drawing however I don't understand I don't really know where the dialogue goes from there all I know is that apparently we've been talking for like fifteen to twenty minutes and I and I know that her arm is or her hands are clutching my arm and her head is on my shoulder. So apparently things have gone well, um, and you know that's all I can hope for. And um, she's she's she says, you know, I remember this. She's like, I I didn't know, I didn't know we lived next to each other all this time. And I was like, holy crap, I had a I had a beautiful neighbor. I think I I probably fell in love with my neighbor. And she's like, you know what, I'm I'm going to. I'm going to tell my husband. And I'm like, whoa, what the hell just happened? This has escalated to a new level, a level that I never foresaw when I first entered this castle that was illuminating this really dark room with a beautiful figure. This is something I never saw happening. And, you know, it freaked me out. You know what I mean? I was... Yep. Um, we, got, we got the sound effect for scary music as well, which I'm pretty proud of. Um... I believe we, we are allowed to play these. Um, it's awesome. And the bells, I think, was a, also a very nice touch. Uh, so I, I'm, I hope you guys are into that. Uh, anyway, along along the lines of the story, right? She's like, you know, I got to tell my husband. I'm like, please tell your husband. And this is, and I mean, like, in my head, I'm telling, I'm telling myself, what are you doing, man? Come on. So, I mean... But I was kind of hopeful inside, too. I was like, oh, man, she'll tell her husband, and, you know, I'll be cool. Um, then next thing I remember is the husband comes in with all his dudes behind him. like, oh, God, I, I knew this was going to happen. I'm about to die right here. And before anything else happens, the story ends, and I wake up. And I remember for a split second, for, like, a split second, not even one full second, I'm all like, oh, my God, I've actually found my true love. And um, I'm like, oh, my God, I can't wait to see her. Uh, this is the first th thought that that came into my head when I, when I woke up. And, I mean, I guess this was the same thought I had as I was, you know, leaving the dream. I was like, oh, my God, I found true love, finally. And then I, in the, mo the most painful of fashions, I realized that this is not a dream. Because my sister comes into my room and she's like, hey! Is that not the most violent ending to a dream you've ever had before? Like, you found true love, and then your little sister comes in like, Oh, hey! What's up? I can't even tell you guys. It just absolutely blew my mind. I was so depressed. I went to a very dark place. Anyway... I think that's all the time I really have for this show, you guys. Thanks for listening, and uh, I know it ended kind of darkly, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens from here. Um, I hope. I, I wonder if this story, if I were to write it on Facebook or something, whether it would get any likes or not. I don't know. I'm not very. I'm not very good with that. But that that is a story for another day. Anyway, it's Lumberjack. Peace.